Hey everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to do a gaming test on the Lenovo Smart Tab M8. Let's get it started. Okay, so I picked up the Lenovo Smart Tab M8 on Black Friday for only $59. However, if you're still interested in this tablet, it will cost you $89 now on the Walmart website. But um, I haven't really covered a whole lot about this tablet since my unboxing. I'll leave a card up above here if you want to check that out right now before you watch this gaming test. Um, so not really covering it a whole lot. You know, I, I downloaded three games, Asphalt 9, Call of Duty, and PUBG Mobile. And that is just the games I normally test out when I do phones or tablets or whatever the case may be. So uh, we're going to see just how this Lenovo tablet can handle those games. Okay, so here at the About section, you can see some of the specs of this tablet. It has a 2 gigahertz quad-core MediaTek Helio A22 processor. Now, the A22 is a low-end processor from MediaTek. You can see that it has 2 gigabytes of RAM as well as 32 gigabytes of onboard storage with a 2 megapixel front-facing camera and a 5 megapixel rear camera. The display is 1280 by 800. So I will be doing more of a review of this tablet here in the coming days. Um, but first of all, like I said, I want to just do a gaming test. So first things first, let's check out Geekbench 5 to see what kind of scores we got. Now we got a single core score of 170 and a multi-core score of 566. Now how would that affect gameplay? We'll find that out here in just a second. This tablet also runs Android version 10. Okay, so we're going to start off here with Asphalt 9. Now, with the processor that is in this tablet, it does take quite some time uh, for these games to load up. So if it takes too long, I will just, of course, pause and come back. Um, the audio quality from the dual speakers on this tablet is fantastic. It's some of the best speakers I've heard from a tablet, especially at this price. Um, but yeah, while this is loading up, I'll go ahead and pause and I'll come back when we're in a race. Okay, so we're here now at the car selection screen. It took a couple of minutes to start up and actually get here. We're gonna go ahead though and just run this race. It's done been ran once already, but we're gonna run it for the sake of this video here. I uh, will play anyway. And you're gonna kind of see just how long it takes to load up. Now, I have played this game once already and we're gonna see if the experience is better than it was last time. Now, this is a default setting. There's been no setting changes made, no high performance, nothing like that. It's set at default how it was when I first powered it up. So um, we're seeing here, it's taking a little bit here, and now looking here, you can already see that it's it just crashed. So you're gonna see that here when you're trying to play some of these graphic intense games here on this tablet because the processor and the RAM just can't handle it. Um, I have played it. We're going to load it up one more time and give it one more try. So, um, yeah, give me a second and I'll come back. Okay, so we're loaded up again. We're going to see if it crashes or if it actually goes to the game this time. Uh, there we go. It's actually, it crashed around here this time, last time. Uh, but you can see just how choppy it is. I mean, very choppy, just here going to the actual race. So um, I think it's gonna freak, well, now there we go. But you can see right now that it is very, very choppy. We're gonna attempt it. So you can just see right now, I mean, the 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 freeze and the drop frames, it's just virtually unplayable. I mean, for this game here, uh, we got little bouts here of where it's smooth and it plays fine. And then it just, yeah, you're seeing right now it's doing okay. Then it just kind of hangs up and freezes.
So we'll just go ahead and run this race out here to see how much more issues we have or if it does continue to just play smooth right now. It's doing okay. Uh, yes, there is some drop frames here and there. Um, but right now it's playing. So maybe, you know, as it just kind of start up, get the bugs worked out. I don't know. Yeah. So it had a lot of issues at the beginning, and it still had a lot of issues throughout the game. However, you know, it did smoothen out as we were actually racing. Um, but if this is something that you want to use all the time for this game, this tablet, you're going to have uh, some issues here and there. It's just it's trying to go back home, and you can see right now that it's, yeah, it's just... It can't handle anything graphic intense. Now, we're going to go ahead and go into Call of Duty. And uh, we're going to try this game here out. Now, I have played this game once before already. And had a better experience than I did with uh, Asphalt 9. So, uh, I'll let it load up. And again, I'll come back when it's set up. Okay, so now, uh, this only can be set at low setting. You can't make it high or low, basically. Now, we're already in the game, and you can see right here that even in low setting, it looks pretty good, and it's pretty smooth. So we'll play for a little bit here. It's kind of hard to see the screen behind the camera, but... Just go ahead and try this again. So Call of Duty seems to play a whole lot better. Um, I have seen a few drop frames here and there while I was playing it earlier. Uh, but as you're seeing right now, it's doing a pretty good job. So I played for just another minute or so. So yeah, Call of Duty Mobile is going to do just fine, um, apparently here, by just playing this here. As you can see, gameplay does seem to be very smooth. Let's go ahead and go back home here and get out of that. So even though Call of Duty Mobile is a graphic intense game, it does seem to do very well here on this tablet. Now, the last game I want to test is PUBG Mobile. I am not expecting much on this game here. Uh, it is set at default setting, like every game is. So, uh, yeah, I'll let this game here set up, and once again, when it's in the game, I'll be back. Okay, so now we're on the ground. Now let's see how this game here plays. I'll try to stay in frame as much as I can. I do apologize if I do get out of frame any at all. So far, seems to be doing okay. I got no weapons. Now, I haven't played Call of Duty <laughs> Mobile in a long time, so just kind of bear with me here. There we go. So if we can get a little bit of action here on the game to see how it does. Let's try to straighten out my tablet a little bit here. But just running around, I mean, it's not bad. Some freezing, some drop frames here and there, but, you know, nothing too terrible. The A22 is holding up better than I thought it would.
So actually moving around, as you can see right here, I mean, it does kind of hang up every once in a while, but for the most part, it's decently smooth. So I'm quite impressed, to be honest. It's not bad. Um, the only game that I had really had an issue with was Asphalt 9. Asphalt 9 seemed to have a lot of issue with gameplay. It crashed, as you've seen. Uh, but Call of Duty, being a graphic intense game, played just fine on low setting, which is the only setting you can actually use. And whatever was set to default on PUBG. So the A22 with 2 gigabytes of RAM does seem to, you know, play these graphic intense games pretty well. Uh, and if you're, if you like Asphalt 9 and play it a lot, this may not be the tablet for you, but this tablet does cost $89 now at walmart.com. So here you go. S dual speakers sound fantastic when you're watching videos, playing games. And yeah, I mean, it does okay. Uh, when you first boot the tablet up, it is very choppy and very laggy until it gets everything sorted out. And then it seems to just perform fine. So um, stay tuned for my review of this tablet. If this game intense was helpful and informative in any way, hit that like button. Any questions, leave it down below. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell for further content. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.